Hello everyone, and welcome back in time to Ancestors, where I am here with Da, the very protective and very cautious male who is known for his child rearing capabilities and uh, also stealing the mate of the lazier males of our group. And we are getting ready to go on a bigger expedition. So we have been very, very overly cautious when it comes to exploring so far. We have found a few things. We have discovered a few new items, but we're not really getting out there. We're not really finding out what this wild world has to offer. And I worry that it's actually slowing us down when it comes to being able to really develop our neurons, develop our senses, get a sense for what is out there in the world. Like, is there more food over here? somewhere i know this is food and that's good the kids will enjoy eating some of that too but i feel like we haven't really been using our senses as much as i wish we were all right there's something interesting over here let's see if i can find anything i don't see it but i could definitely smell it do you guys see it over there all right let's go see if we can figure out what exactly it is that da is smelling where is it? Is it on this branch? I think it's on this branch. So let's just climb on over. We can swap hands with the food that we've got really quickly. <gasps> is that a mushroom? Guys, I think we just discovered mushrooms to eat. This could either go really, really well or really, really badly. Look at that. New food discovery. The ancient African fungus. Okay, drop it, drop it, drop it. That was actually poisonous. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drop that like immediately. Not good. Oh, he's feeling really sick. Did I just poison us forever? Oh, I hope I didn't. Can I eat something to balance it out? Oh, you guys. Is this gonna help? This is the best thing I know how to eat. All right, let's eat these and then maybe it will stop the poison. I know this warms us up. I know this actually takes care of like bones that could hurt. All right, there's a little bit here. How long am I gonna be poisoned for? Oh, thank goodness. Phew, all right, our senses are getting better now that we're not poisoned. Jeez, that was close. And there's a lot of my favorite trees with my favorite things to eat around here. All right, is there something this way? Can I smell anything? But now we know those are dangerous. Like, don't eat those wild mushrooms, for crying out loud. Oh, hey, that's one of those cool little fruits that we figured out we can, like, rub ourselves down with and it helps protect us. All right, I think we're starting to get the hang of things. And we do have a couple kids with us. I really, maybe I should be... Wait, is that intelligence? Or is that something's warning me to be vigilant? What kind of sense? I think I was just warned that there was something nearby. I really don't hear anything other than our own group though. Intimidate what? New wildlife discovered. There's a mama? Where? Oh my gosh, apparently there's like a mamba nearby. We've intimidated a eastern green mamba as an evolutionary feat. We've matured a neuron as a result in communication. I didn't even know there was one nearby. We just spooked a snake! Oh my gosh, I didn't even see it either. It must be like in the tree nearby or something. Wow! Good to know, jeez. Oh, and we're finally feeling good. I think I'm finally getting the balance on how to feed ourselves. Alright, using our senses. Can I use my sense of smell to find something? Anything? I mean, I know that that plant is there. Oh, and I can focus my sense of smell. That's right. Hmm. And then I can memorize the location. 
All right, so it's way... Oh, it's, there's another thing in the tree. I bet that there is another really delicious fruit right in that tree. Also, I really, really want the scrubby thing. Can I reach the scrubby thing is the question. Maybe I can reach... <gasps> Whoa, who are you? Are you guys part of my, my clan? Like, what is this? What's going on here? Yeah, this is my group. What are you guys all doing down here? Did you guys all show up? <gasps> Ka! Ka, the female was bitten by something. What? Ka, when were you bitten? Okay, that failed. But Ka got bitten by the mamba? You guys were all down here fighting with the mamba while I was standing on top of the cliffside? Like some sort of like... How do you tell? Ah, it's really hard to tell how to like become mates with her. Um, let's see. Well, I could do clan call. Apparently there's something dangerous over there, too. Can I identify it? <gasps> That's the mamba! Wow! Okay, so the snake is actually that direction. And we're very concerned about that. So we're very aware about the snake. Alright, come on, guys. Up we go, clan. Uh, oh, sticks! Alright, can I actually switch hands? Can I inspect the stick? I really, I want to smack the mamba with the stick, but it's very difficult because I don't think we have gotten to the point where I can convince them to do that just yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop the stick. Alright, let's jump this way. What am I going to do for Anne? Like, feed her? Get her from some fresh water? There was that lotion plant. I'm trying to find where it went. Okay, it's right below us right there. Can I grab it? <gasps> grab it, grab it, grab it! Ugh, why can I not grab? Alright, well... Is it in this spot? There it is. That's really sad music. Is Anne okay? Can I give this to Anne? All right, let's switch hands. There we go. And then can I can I summon everybody up here? This is Do you hear this music? Like I'm really worried. Okay, alter, left to alter. Right to switch. Okay, alter. I want to alter this item. Hmm, it doesn't seem like I can alter this item. Alright, let's see if we can get back over to maybe camp is where I need to go now. And come on! A memorized item has been forgotten. That's fine. Man, this is hard. Okay. Drop. Drop it. I need you to switch hands. I need you to go ahead and drop this and call everybody. Alright, and hopefully, maybe I can give this to Anne. All right, let's run this way. Cause somebody did get bitten, but we intimidated the green mamba. All right, and I'm starting to get the hang of how to like run around. And it seems like no nothing really comes towards our territory, which is pretty nice. But let's head over. I think we may have evolved something and at least I brought this back. So I'm gonna actually drop this here at our clan camp. And then maybe that'll help out in the future. So you go ahead and drop that. There we go. And then let's do a call. Okay, Anne, are you here? That's Ka. Oh, Ka's the one, not Anne. Like, Anne's our mate, so I would have been very upset about that. All right, there's Anne. Can I pick this up and give it to our the wounded member of the group? Where'd she go? Which one is she? Okay, this one? Oh, whoa! Whoa! What happened? Am I playing as her? <gasps> wow! Oh, you can switch between the members? Og, don't change your name! 
No way! You can switch between the members! I had no idea! That's what I meant by switch! Oh, you guys! What? I can't believe it took me this long to figure that out! Okay, let's drop this. I have no idea if it's going to actually help Anne. But I feel so much better now that- or Ka. Uh, Ka, I don't want to change your name. Okay, I want to switch. All right, come on, Ka. We're gonna grab this. I'm gonna try applying it, as silly as that sounds. And we'll see if this helps her at all. Having used, oh, there we go. Gift for associated lear learnings, having used Kapoki fiber at least twice. All right, and can I scoop this? Maybe to help her? There we go. With the poison? She's still feeling the poison's effects, but she's not dead. Oh, she's alive! We've done it, you guys! We've managed to keep Anne alive! Jeez! This is so interesting! I had no idea- Oh, and the horse tail has grown back! We can go ahead and eat up on some of the horse tail! There we go! Nice little chomp chomp of some of the greenery at midnight. Which is actually helping to make everybody's bones a little stronger. Whoa! Okay. Well, I'm pretty happy that we figured this out. I now have uh, a few more. Everybody's gonna eat that horse tail before I can. I'm glad that I figured out some some little differences that we can do. Hold still, you. I need to become. I want to become Da again, because he's kind of like my guy. Um, switch. There. Sweet! Alright! Well, I feel really accomplished. We chased off a green mamba, even though I never saw it. I figured out that you could actually switch between the members, which I'm sure you guys have been telling me for quite a while now. And I think we unlocked some things in our neural evolution. So we have matured a neuron in communication. We can initiate it and we can learn it. So let's initiate. Self-improve empowerment. Once connected, clan members will have the capacity to automatically mimic an intimidation or the action of conquering fear. <gasps> that sounds so good for what we just did. Let's go ahead and do that. So they'll be able to mimic intimidating something or conquering fear. That sounds super important. Self-empowerment. While following you, clan members are able to automatically mimic an intimidation or the action of conquering fear. So we're actually expanding a lot when it comes to communication. On this one, you have to do training and a genetic mutation, which means like we do have one genetic mutation that Ick already has to in, like eat more food. And I think we need to work on our intelligence some more still. I'm still really worried that like our kids are not smart enough, but let's go ahead and get some sleep until the sun rises. I do, however, feel very confident that we have gotten a good start. Ooh, man, I'm a little scared to go down to the water, I'm not gonna lie, in the future. Food, water, sleep. All right, everybody's still with me. We'll go ahead and get ourselves a little bit of water. But I'm starting to really figure out how to use our senses. And I think we're going to go and investigate a few of the uh, other things that we have found. Let's come on over. I'm not sure how we're going to use the rocks. Like, I would love to figure out... I can add things to a pile. I mean, that's... Oh, cool. I can actually make a pile of rocks. Interesting. Is that going to do anything, though? I think it just makes a tidy little pile. Any other small rocks I can grab? Ah, oh, I love how you just have to use your curiosity. There's no immediate right answers. And there's just a lot of needing to explore and search the world out yourself. So, what's that right over there? Can we focus in on it? Can we identify it? Oh, oh, there's another tribe member. That's right. We keep running into that guy, but I don't know if we can convince him to, like, come and join us just yet. So we might try to figure out if we can convince that guy to come join us. 
<laughs> but otherwise, I'm ready to start exploring a little bit further afoot. I'm nervous about the green mambas. I'm extremely dubious about the water. If I have learned anything from watching Safari Live, it is that you never know what might be lurking in those depths. But, well, we do have the evolution of our people to think of. So, we're going to go ahead and start diving deeper into the forest now that I think we've begun to master how we can expand the basics. And look at all that. Look at all that. And then if anything happens to us, well, Ick is going to have to lead the next generation. So if you guys would like to join us on that and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.